everyone, it's Tammy. I am going to show you um, how to fix makeup like that's been crumbled. I got some e.l.f. makeup, I think I did a haul on it and I showed you guys that one of my favorite colors like crumbled up and so I haven't even used it yet but I'd like to try to fix it so that I can use it and show you guys. And I've been watching some YouTube videos and I also uh, went on Pinterest and found some instructions. So I kind of am doing my own thing with this, but I think it'll work just great. So here we go. Okay, so this is my e.l.f. cosmetic thing. It's just a custom compact. I got it with my last e.l.f. haul, and I haven't even, I don't think I've even used their eyeshadow yet, but so I got these four colors, and I really like this blackish color. I don't remember the name of it right now. I think it was, oh goodness, I don't remember the name. That doesn't really matter. But as you can see, it's all crumbled up. And um, so what we need to do to fix this is you need to just put a little bit of alcohol on it and you need to crumble it up a little bit more and then put some alcohol on it and then press it. So to do that, I have a pen that I can use to crumble it up. I also have a syringe that I'm going to use as my dropper. My husband gets, um, he gets shots for uh, uh, allergies and so this is just one of his syringes if you don't have a syringe you can use like a <clears throat> I don't know a dropper or you can even just kind of pour it on this is just so small I was kind of afraid to do that and you need rubbing alcohol and the higher the percentage the faster it will dry so this is 70% which is pretty standard so it's just going to take a little bit longer to dry but it shouldn't be a big deal so first things first we crumble this up a little bit more so that it's all kind of a powder and it's not um, like just chunky and I know that it's going to be a mess because um, or it's not going to be as pretty because you can see that the other ones like have an eye on them this it will not it will have the texture of whatever you brush against it so mine's just going to be a tissue but oh well so I'm going to I was thinking of using this pen to crush it up but because I have that syringe I may just use that but let's see how this well, this does a fine job, so I don't know if you can see that very well. I am literally just crumbling it up even more. And I think you just get it so that there aren't any big chunks, and um, you're doing this just so that the liquid will make it stick together all nicely and homogeneously. Pulled that word out of 7th grade science, didn't I? Let's see. So, and I know that a ton of people have tried this, so I am pretty confident that it's going to work. Whoops, I'm trying not to be very messy. You could do this like in a Ziploc bag or something too, but I like to live dangerously. So I'm just getting the big crumbles out, and I could probably use a nickel instead of a penny because it's a little bigger than I remembered that it was when I was looking for a coin. I'm trying to get that little chunk off because I'm being anal now. That's crazy. Okay, let's see. I need to clean that up with the... So, okay, so the, the pen worked actually very nicely. Some person did it with a paper, not a paper clip, I guess that would work too, but somebody did it with a pencil, which I don't think I'd want the lead in my eye, but whatever, you know, to each their own. So now I'm just going to take the rubbing alcohol and I'm going to fill up a little bit in my syringe and I'm trying to see if I need to, oh, I think I can get it in this. Let's see what we can do here. Oh yeah, I'm getting some. I didn't know if it was long enough or not. Okay, so I just want to get some of that. And then I just, I'm going to sprinkle some on and make it kind of wet, but not like soaking wet. I should have started to see how much I was using to start, but... And like I said, because I'm using the 70%, it's going to take a little bit longer to dry. And that may be enough. I don't know. I'm just going to put the syringe down. And I will try this. I'm just going to take the penny and wrap it in this tissue. 
And then I'm going to push the tissue down, although I'm doing a crappy job of grabbing the penny. <laughs> this should be the easiest part. I'm making it the most difficult. Goodness gracious, are you serious? There we go. Whew, finally got the penny. Now I'm going to switch hands so that I can have my right hand to do the pressing down. And then I'm just going to literally press down. Oh, and I've got the whole thing stuck on me. And <laughs> so I'm just kind of going around the edges. And if it comes up, I just push it back down. And already it looks a hundred times better. You guys see that? Doo -doo. And if I had a bigger coin, it would probably work just a little bit better just because it would push it all down the same. But this way it's kind of putting a little bit of a design in it because I'm the coin isn't quite big enough to go around the whole diameter. But there's that. So I think that that's pretty good. And I like the sparkle and shine in it, and it looks like it's standing up, but it's really not very elevated. There might be a little bit of elevation on the sides. Let me just go around it one more time and just kind of pat it. There we go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is... I kind of wish I would have kept that out when it was coming out. There, yay, I got it. Okay, so now that it's out, and I'm going to clean up this mess with my tissue, and I'm probably going to try to clean up the other one, so I'll show you that in just a second. And through the magic of television, <laughs> it's pretty cleaned up. Oh, I see, still see a little bit of a mess, but it's fairly cleaned up, and it looks pretty good, and um, it is now ready for wear. I think it's still a little bit wet I mean it's just not even been five minutes but I think if you wait just a little bit longer it will dry up nicely and uh, the color will go on just as well as it would have if it was brand new well and it's still brand new but you know what I'm saying so yay I think that that Pinterest test is a true success and I'm going to try to get off some of that black which really it's not going to matter when I'm wearing it so um yeah there we go so I, th I think that's quick. I think it's pretty easy and I think anyone can do it. So I hope that you can fix some of yours. And I, I know that this would work for any powdered kind of makeup. So like, I don't know, blush or compact or whatever. So yay, DIY at the best. Bye guys.